and this is what we're going to use to transfer our graphics or photos onto the wood. Mailing labels, and I picked these up at the dollar store. And I just had these scrap pieces of wood, so that's what I'm going to show you today on how to do this technique. These are just the mailing labels that have a whole bunch of little labels on them and you don't actually want the labels, you want the paper underneath. And you can also pick these up at an office supply store or at Staples. And the first thing you want to do is peel off all of those labels because you want that paper underneath. Okay, now we have all the labels off. I'm going to use my crafters tape and just put a little bit along the edges of a piece of computer paper to hold that label paper in place because if you just put the label paper through your computer, sometimes it can get jammed up. So you want to put the shiny side up. The shiny side is what you want to print your graphics or your photo on. And you want to make sure it's laying nice and smooth with no wrinkles. Now, this project can only be done on a laser jet printer. It will not work on an inkjet printer. So when you're putting your paper into your printer, you want the shiny side down because then it'll print on the right side when it comes out. And this is the graphic that I printed for this project. Make sure to reverse your text or it'll be backwards. Now I'm going to paint this piece of wood with some acrylic paint. Now I've cut the graphic out of the piece of paper and you don't want to touch any of the ink. It will smudge really easy. Now we're waiting for the painted piece of wood to dry. I'm going to show you how you can transfer it right onto just raw wood. You're going to put your transfer face down on the piece of wood and then you're going to put a piece of parchment paper on top and then we're going to use the iron set at the highest setting on six with no steam. And we're just going to iron away and as we iron the ink from the laser jet printer will transfer onto the wood and it'll stay on the wood and looks beautiful and it takes a little bit of ironing you want to press down and make sure you get every corner and make sure that your graphic underneath does not slide around you want to make sure it stays right in place and you can always really carefully, it's hot, so be careful, just lift up a corner and see how it's transferring and you'll know whether you need to iron it a little bit more. And like I said before, this will only work on a laser jet printer. It will not work on an inkjet printer. The inkjet printer ink just smears all over the paper. You have to have the laser jet that has the special ink that works for this project. And as I slowly pull away that label paper, you can see that the ink is actually starting to bond into the wood. And I'm gonna iron it just a little bit more. Okay, and now we're ready to pull that label paper off. And as you can see, as I'm peeling it, it's revealing that whole graphic. Now sometimes it all doesn't iron off sometimes, but I, I kind of like the look of that. It kind of gives it a nice rustic worn look. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the transfer on the acrylic paint. Okay, now we're gonna do the same technique that we did on the raw wood. Make sure you don't touch the graphics and center them right where you want them on the board. Get your piece of parchment paper, hold it down firmly, and then you're going to take your iron and make sure the graphic underneath doesn't slide around. Setting six, no steam, and iron away. Try this technique on a couple pieces of scrap wood before you do a big project, just so you get the knack of how it transfers to your wood. Now I'm just gonna pull up a corner and make sure that it's transferring really well. And there's still a little bit, so I'm gonna try with the iron a bit more and see if I can get a bit more of that ink off of it onto the wood. If you are using this technique on wood, you wanna make sure that your wood is smooth. It won't work on anything that has a lot of texture. And now we're ready to peel off that label paper 
and reveal the graphic. And look how great that turned out. It actually is better on a painted surface. It really transferred well onto the acrylic paint. And here's the two pieces finish. This one with the acrylic paint underneath and this one just on the raw wood. Now I've drilled two holes through the top of it to put a little piece of twine through it and I'm going to seal it with my water-based matte finished varathane. And there you have a graphic transfer using mailing label sheets. And it's such a cool technique. And I hope I've inspired you to try to do it yourself. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below so I can pick somebody to win a graphic out of my Etsy store. And this graphic also will be available in my Etsy store to purchase. Thanks for watching and have a great day.